What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today we're going to be reacting to Game Week 7. As always guys, this video is brought to you by OneFootball. OneFootball is the ultimate platform for everything football. The app is free to download on iOS and Android and there's a link for it in the description below. It provides the latest news, transfers, match updates, statistics from over 160 leagues worldwide. There's a following tab on the app that lets you look up all your favourite teams internationally and regionally. You can also activate automatic notifications on your phone so you'll never miss any news from around the world. As a match is live, results and comments are available where you can leave your reaction to the game. You can also test your football knowledge by making bets and predictions throughout the game. It also provides a squad list of each team in the League of Ireland so you can look up all your favourite players. So we're going to jump into the video guys but before we do, make sure to check out the One Football app in the link in our description. The first game we're going to look at is Bohemians playing host to St. Pat's. Keith Buckley's goal and the stroke of half time was the only difference between the two sides. That win was exactly what Bowes needed to get out of the little rut that they were in and has them in third place. As for Pats, they're really struggling now. That's five games without a win. Three losses in a row and are down in seventh place. This would have been exactly what Harry Kenny wouldn't have wanted with his start to the season. But it was a great result for Bowes and they're still in a European place. So it'll be interesting to see how long they can keep that going for and if they can achieve that. Let me know if you think Bowes can get a European place down in the comments below. Next game we're going to look at is Derry City playing host of Sligo Rovers. Comfortable enough to a win for Derry here. It's kind of what I was expecting. Wasn't expecting Sligo to cause them many problems. Kieran Harkin and David Parkhouse with the goals. Two of their best performers this season. They've been playing very well. Two players brought in over the winter once and they've been great signings. And yeah, they look like a decent side. A good win for them. The next match we're going to look at is Dundalk playing host to Cork City. In a huge game for two sides who want to be up at the top of the table. Michael Duffy's goal before half time was the only difference between the two sides. The PFAI player of the year last season impressed throughout the game and got his goal. Dundalk had that bit of quality that can make the difference in such tight games like that. And it was a crucial win for Dundalk to keep that gap with Shamrock Rovers to a minimum. As for Cork, they need to bounce back with a huge win in their next game. And the tough games are coming thick and fast. They have Shamrock Rovers at home next week and they need to get a win from that to really push themselves up the top of the table if they want a challenge for Europe this season, let alone a title challenge. Next game we'll look at is Waterford winning 4-0 at home to Finn Harps. Very easy and comfortable home win for Waterford. Aaron Drinan continuing in his impressive form this season, scoring twice. And Waterford, but a bit of a slow start, starting to pick up a few results now. And let's see where that can take them. They have a couple of good young players in that squad, JJ Loney, Zach Elbozetti, Aaron Drinan. So yeah, maybe as the season goes on, they can get better and better. But as for Finn Harps, I'm really worried about them. They're struggling a lot, and they seem to lack the quality to stay in this division with only two points from nine games. So yeah, I'd be worried about their survival chances this season. And the final game we're going to look at is Shamrock Rovers playing host to UCD. Shamrock Rovers running out easy enough 3 1 winners in this one. Jack Byrne grabbing two, showing everyone exactly why he was called up to the Ireland squad. Rovers are looking very strong this season. Seven points clear at the top of the table. Although they have played two extra games, that's still a very impressive gap to have. And it puts a lot of pressure on the teams below them to pick up points. It looks like Shamrock Rovers had a plan all along with Stephen Bradley. They're going to give him time as a long-term project and this year is a year that they really want to challenge for the title. Shamrock Rovers fans, let me know in the comments below. Can you go all the way this season? Because personally, I think it's going to be very tight between Dundalk and Shamrock Rovers till the bitter end. Anyway guys, there you have it. My reaction to the results from Game Week 7. What do you think of the games? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Make sure to like, share and most importantly subscribe.